welcome. I'm doing this video as an update. I did a video, well, it was years ago now, on my dog. I had, was having some issues. She was, looked like a seizure she was having or something, and uh, wasn't sure what it was. I didn't realize it had got, had got so many views and comments, and a lot of people were asking what was going on and hoping she was going to be all right and everything. Well, um, we don't really know... Um, what it was, we end up having to put her to sleep. It's just she they kept getting worse and worse. You look, uh, here you can see, pay attention to her eyes, it's brown here. She's only six pounds when I got her. I got, I got her, uh, got her, um, my grandma got her, you know, a few weeks after I got home from the hospital. So she definitely made me smile whenever I was having a bad day. It was hard to have a bad day whenever she was around you know I always had she'd go out with me to the store she'd sit on my lap I never trained her she never jumped off and I mean didn't train her to do that she just never jumped off she'd just stay you know um but yeah she started having these like seizure things I'll show you the video in a second um it's hard for me to even watch it almost brings me to tears just seeing her go through that she was distant in the end. She just stared into the distance and acted funny. But she was having those episodes and me being in the chair, I can't pick her up when she's doing it. She was just walking in circles and bumping into the door or the wall or whatever. So she was suffering. It got to the point where she was having those, even up to like four or five of those a day. And I just couldn't see her suffer. You know, it was, even though it was, it was still hard because, you know, she's like a daughter, you know? And, uh, then it's kind of funny though, we have wood wood uh, floors in here and for the next two to three months after you put her to sleep, like, you know, you could always hear her, like her little nails running on the, on the floor. You could hear the, her little nails, you know, distinct pattern. And for the next two or three months after you put her to sleep, I would hear those going across the floor. It was hilarious. It was funny. It just made me... Gave me comfort knowing, you know, she's she's around. Like they say, all dogs go to heaven, so that's what I'm counting on. Now, knowing what I know now, I would definitely try, like, CBD oil. I was always thinking it was seizures, I guess. My mom had said she took her to the vet, and the vet said it wasn't a traditional seizure. But um, if you look at her eyes, they're brown. This is an older picture, not like in the last days. Um... So that one there, you can see her eyes are dark. And this one here, her eyes are dark again. And then this one, you can see her eyes are... Eyes are still dark, but... Um, this this last one, you can see the gray in her eyes, and that, that's the sign of a tumor, is what the vet said. So, um, that's what they're saying. It was uh, the tumor that was doing this stuff. I don't know what they would actually call... Is yes, I'll play it for you. Oh wait, let me start it over. And sometimes she would do it uh, more. She would do it a. Uh, a lot more violent and for a longer period of time. But then, like her lips, you'll see in a second here. But she like kind of, her hair, you see her lips twitching. Here, get up to the... You can see her, yeah. So yeah, it was pretty sad. It's, I still miss her for sure, you know. It's kind of funny, the neighbor across the street got a little chihuahua and almost looks the same, except for has some brown spots, this similar main color, but brown spots, and it has a little longer nose and has a black, has a black nose instead of that reddish, pinkish color. But it's so hilarious, I wish they would have met. Long time ago, they could have had puppies. 
But anyway, if, maybe if you're a vet or something, if you have any idea, I have some, a couple other videos that show this more intense, but really I, I just can't watch it. But if, if someone out there knows or has an idea what it what it could be, it's not um, rabies or distemper or anything like that. You know, I'm sure the vet would have definitely diagnosed that. But, uh, but all right, well, I just wanted to update. I think, thanks for everybody who commented and... I'm going to try and get in there and respond to a lot of those comments because, like I said, I didn't realize they were there. And I definitely appreciate everybody commenting. And if you haven't seen my other videos, if you subscribe, I've got a lot more stuff coming out. So thanks for watching. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe in whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. Stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Take the red pill. The red pill. Take the red pill.